Well, hello everybody and welcome back to 263Bs. This is Ed. I'm son of one. And uh, what I am doing again is back here checking my Terranov, the ones I did for the Terranov splits, trying to see where they are at. Um, I want to thank everybody for, for watching, subscribing. Uh, I'm at 588 now in subs and as you can see I've done a tearing off split and I took ha over half of these girls I took all the the uh, the uh, nurse bees and you see we're still boiling out at the top it's amazing how these girls have been doing I'm hoping to find here in this one that we find uh, we have a queen cell. I'm not going to be tearing it completely apart today. I'm going to be tearing the t taking the top off and going down and trying to look for a queen cell amongst the uh, brood. We'll see where we are at uh, with that. <laughs> These girls are still a little agitated, so I know they don't have a queen yet. And it's going to take a while because they didn't have a cell where I did this. So, oops. There we go. They're not happy with me because they've got these dang frames stuck together. As you can see, they're, they're they're like this because they're they are queenless, and they got a little roar going. I don't know if you can hear it on it or not, but they got a bit of a roar. They're queenless and they don't like what I'm doing. All right, still got plenty of brood in here, a bunch of larvae left over and these girls are they're in good shape for numbers that's for sure but I made a mark on this frame right here and I'm trying to see I don't know if I got you guys on video or not here uh, there we go come back and check it they're not liking my phone Got plenty of heat in here. All right. Uh, no queen cell there yet. I may have to go. I got drones still. Okay. Uh, I had marked this one because it looked like they had one full of uh, and get ready to pull one. And it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Uh, they have not, they did not select a queen out of anything so far. So, I'm resort have to resort may have to resort to digging into Miss Holly's hive and pulling some cells to see if we can get them to they're collecting nectar, that's for sure. I don't know where they're getting the nectar from. do is I'll check back the other way a little bit because I thought there was a cell on there that they're just not paying any attention to so I might have to walk with you guys back to the back and get me a um, a cell or, or, or potential for cells Oh, actually, nope, nope, there we go. 
I don't have to. They did it for me. I got a queen being made in that cell right there. All right, so this is what we're looking at. All right, and that's only that's only a few days. Should be only a few days. it's a larvae. There's plenty of uh, stuff in that cell. So I gotta be careful how I put them back in there too, because. I don't want to go and hurt that queen cell. Okay, so we're on the right path. We're on the right path. I was hoping they'd have a couple more options. They don't. They have the one. And so that's the queen they're going to get, it's the one they're making. I could have done that in the beginning, but I didn't think about it in the beginning. Now what I want to do too is go back to the back and see if we have some uh, uh, I'm clutchy today. Then they're mad at me. But I want to go to the back and see if the queen I left took to the back has pro started producing any cells uh, or any eggs. She wasn't laying the other day, so we are in a forward momentum on this tearing off. I've got probably, well, it's not quite seven days yet because they haven't capped that queen cell. So, and it wasn't the one I thought they were going to do. So, I'm looking at, uh, uh, you know. Maybe another three or four more days on that cell before they cap it, and then because it wasn't there, it wasn't there three days ago, four, three or four days ago. Now it's uh, uh, there. They have it. So we're looking probably another eight to ten days, and then soon we'll have a queen. I see drones in the hive, so I'm hoping the other hives have it. We'll find out if she can fly out and mate. Because uh, I'm actually forcing them a lot earlier than, than I thought we were going to. But this is where we are, guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, excuse the mess in the carport. And the bumping around, I have had my hands full lately. I got stuff everywhere. Yeah, like most beekeepers, I don't have all the time in the world. But uh, we are doing good. Uh, everybody's flying. I mean, got one flying chasing me back down with this phone, with this camera and the microphone. But these are our red maple blooms. I ain't got a sweat bee flying around there. These are my other girls. But these, this hive I have here is a uh, The one that I went in was the other part of that Terranov, which has the queen. <clears throat> and we're about to find out where we sit. We got a drone sitting up on top here. Don't know why he's there. These girls weren't really that bad. They've actually got a decent number. That was all nurse bees when I moved them. All right. So I'm going to see. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I stirred them. They were being really good till I went and did that. Uh, 
And I brought them some brood back over here when I came back with them. You gotta understand too, the summer today is, is actually uh, really overcast. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not raining. I got some girls hatching. All right, they wish to improve their numbers. But I'm not seeing mama working on any. I'm not gonna leave that out there. It's not cold, but it's not warm either. So, when they're, they're stocking nectar, it looks like they're, stuck, they're packing nectar, it looks like. Either that or they're eating the hell out of it, one of the two. Uh, but I think we're in good shape. I know we got the queen. I know we got plenty of bee bees in the, in our group here. Eventually, I'll get to get that uh, uh, uh. I got a bunch of larvae in here, but I don't see any new eggs. So I don't know what deal. A bunch of larvae, different stages, but I don't see the eggs. Is it me or is it, my, is it me? Or am I just not seeing them? Last time I was in here, I painted her. I got larvae at different stages. I just don't see any fresh eggs. And there had to have been eggs last time I was in here then because it's been over three days and there's a bunch of larvae in there. Some hatching. That's old stuff. And they got larvae in behind them. But I just don't see the fresh eggs. Maybe my eyes, my glasses need to be repaired. Because I'm just not seeing them. They ain't moved over that way yet. A little bit of relocation of these frames. Hey, this is a doggone tidal flow here. That's my uh, my show on uh, that tearing off. But if you guys see, man, we got I've got drones. I don't know if they're leftover drones, but they got pretty pretty fuzzy butts. Wings don't look a bit torn up. Looking good shape. So. Oh. 
And some of those girls learn to fly quick. I gotta go see what's going on over here on this one. They want to fall out and pour out of this sucker here. So I don't know what the deal is going on. Are they, I'm wondering if they're getting ready to go do their, do a swarm on me. Let's go see if we got a queen cell. Let's see if we got a queen cell, guys. There's what's left of an appy tab. <coughs> I'm gonna move this out of the way. It's choking me again. Hopefully the wind don't change and blow it in my face. We got pollen and nectar there. Mama here looking for a place to lay. So I can't lay that back out there. I'll find another frame to pull out so I don't lose the mama. She walking that frame. Got broods. Let me put whoop, mama back in here. I need to put mama back in so we keep her safe in the hive. So we keep that footprints footprint pheromone smell in there. What do we got going on girls? Well, we got a pretty decent brood brood um, and backfill. Oh. Yeah and we got continue on the outside lid ledge too. Ouch. Why well, are you trying to sting me? Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. Hey, little girl. That wasn't smart. You didn't lose your stinger though. So you just kept your life. Okay, looks like we they got some brood, drone brood going on over here too. Yeah, two drone brood areas here. We got them cleaning out cells. This here is an actual, this is actual natural comb on this one here. So I do have places where they designed for drone. We're trying to see what we got going. I don't know if we had it. I'm making sure we ain't got any queen cells. Because I had a had them producing a cup last last week. I got a lot of drones on on comb here. I don't know if they're feeding themselves or they're trying to get the girls to do it. Yeah, well, I found that drone with his head in, head in a uh, cup. A cell. Not necessarily a cup. We got some backfill. We got, she's doing her job. Mama's doing her job. These girls need to go into another, uh, another hive, a bigger hive. <clears throat> Ouch. I caused that one. I squished. And we got some wonky comb going here. 
Ooh, shoot, that sucker hurt right there in my finger. I'm gonna try to put the wonky comb to the outside. Take some of this off of here. This crappy stuff. All right. All right, guys. And this is a frame of brood going in. All right, so we need to get these girls a new home soon. That is looking. Now, this other one over here was a botched attempt at a 10 frame high, it only turned out to be nine frames. Let's see what these girls are doing or how, how vicious they want to be today. I hadn't been in them in a while. I hadn't been in these girls in a while. I ain't cracked them in a while. And I think they're part of Holly's boot group. Okay. They've been doing what they want to do. So now I've got a little bit of brown uh, propolis there. These girls are collected for somewhere different. And look at there guys, fairly new comb, they've been doing some of their own structures and they pissed at me now, but fairly white comb, new comb, they've been pulling, I got some brood over here, hopefully I didn't roll mama. These girls are doing their own kind of thing here. They want to do their own thing. And that's why I had the problem on that one, I guess. Let me cut this off. They're not going to like me, but make them rework it. That's the idea on that. I think these are some of Holly's girls. They're not that bad. They're, they're not coming at me bad. They're, they've been here since on the low dial here. Here I got a whole frame of brood. And I got a bunch of honey and I've got some more. I got a drone brood coming in. These girls got this all the way out. This has got to be Holly, one of Holly's girls. She's just been taking her time because I sort of put this over here late fall, mid to late fall. I moved them into this. I was thinking they'd be more, more filled than this, but it won't be long that they're going to need a bigger hive too. Mama's working it. I, have, I don't think I have Mama painted in here yet. 
So we're running across her. We're going to paint her today. Side to side, side to side, drone ain't a brood. There's almost a full, wherever they got filled out, just about it's got uh, eggs and larvae in it and brood. Yeah, these are Holly's girls. Nah, not that I don't get stung by Holly and her group. They just, they just don't have that bad temperament. Any bad temperament. There's eggs and larvae. Almost a whole frame of brood. Look at that whole side packed out. Now that's a pattern there. That's a sheet. She is doing her job. Call her H2. Okay, they're having to redo that. That was all pollen. Well, there's still a lot of pollen in there. Look, there's a lot of fairly new comb with honey in it. A bunch of new new holes um, popped open. I mean, clean out, ready to roll. You guys want to see something pretty? Look at that white comb. That's this year, this season starting off. This is girl. These girls are getting nectar from somewhere, and they're they are just killing it. I, I got a little while on these girls so I actually need to give them a home. But as you notice, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frames. We got nine frames in this in this box. Just by miscalculation in my measurements and what I was using. And this is what I got. I didn't see mama, but I seen plenty of evidence she's working it. She's doing a good job. I am happy with that mama. And this frame, these girls, there guys I think I probably make put this video up and go on live tonight for a little while uh, I'm trying to help a guy figure out how to use uh, How to use a uh, stream yard. Okay, so these girls, these girls are doing great. I mean, I am very pleased. And uh, tell you guys that I've got a couple swarm traps set up already. Got things rolling in that, in that direction. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming, whether you're new or you're return. I enjoy it and love you guys for your support and I want to thank you just hit that like button share subscribe and help me grow so I can reach more people maybe you reach a lot of new I'm still a new beekeeper I'm only in this I've only been in this for three this is good my third season starting so I thank you for your support and all your for all the people who give comments like give me comments please let me know what you think let me know if i'm doing good oh, and i got my girls trying to hit the lens because i'm standing here still 
So I'm going to tell you guys, be good, behave, and be hive. And God bless you and your bees.